We are spending some time today going way back on the water. Our first stop was the uh, storm of uh, 1933 in Ocean City. Our next stop is the Indian River Inlet Bridge in Sussex County, and who better to help us go back to days gone by than Secrets of the Eastern Shore author Jim Duffy. Good Hi. afternoon. How Good are afternoon. you? Doing Good great. So we are talking about the Indian River Inlet Bridge, which is it, very iconic, especially at night. It is beautiful. Well, yeah, we'll get to the we'll get to those lights that are on it. But I, I kind of wanted to start. I don't want to start a fight. I'm from Maryland, and I like, you know, everything about Maryland right. Eastern Shore and everything yeah. like. Delaware has prettier bridges than Maryland does, doesn't okay. it? The Delaware Memorial Bridge, the Indian River Inlet Bridge, that one up, up goes over the canal on 890. Yeah. They just have prettier bridges. Pretty bridges. They do. Okay. You get up on the top of the Indian River, uh, on the, uh, the Indian River Bridge, and it just you're looking out, trying to keep your eyes on the road, but you're looking <laughs> out, and it just looks like it's about kind of like God's unchanging nature and mm -hmm. its beauty. Um, but the reality is, that place is full of change. So, in the 1800s, the inlet was in an entirely different place. Farther, it was in a different place. Different place. Farther to the south. And what would happen was that the, the sand would come in, it would cover it up. A storm would roll through, it would open it up, but in a different place. And then the sand would cover that one up. And this went on all through the 1800s. Okay. Um, they looked, starting in the late 1800s, at, at kind of doing some construction work to make the inlet uh, permanent. But there just weren't very many boats and fishermen there. It was before the resort era. There just weren't many people living there. So it would have been kind of like one of those bridge to nowhere projects. And the federal right. government said, we're not going to do it. Right. So the people in that area decided to take matters into their own hands. And they tried to dig out the inlet by hand. Oh, starting my Starting in the early 1900s. So they had like 300 guys, low tide, and they're trying to dig out the inlet. And it would work, and then it would fail. The, the sand would come in and cover it up. And then they'd get out and they'd dig again. I think it was 1919 when they finally tried dynamite. Uh -huh. And oh you know my. that saying, the, be the best laid plans? Mm -hmm. So they did all this dynamite and they blew up the dynamite. Everything went just fine, except they did it on a perfectly windless day. And all the stuff kind of came, came down back down. Again. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that one didn't last uh, either. They finally got lucky in the late 1920s when they dug it out again and used some dynamite. And then a storm rolled through, but the storm rolled through in just the right way so that it actually made the inlet wider. Oh, so it was a good then, thing. Yeah, it was good. It, that worked out good. So they finally had kind of a permanent inlet and they did some construction work to uh, do it. And that's when they started building bridges. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, it's the 1930s. We drive over a lot of bridges here yeah. that were built in the 1930s. But here's what happened on the Indian River. The first bridge was a wooden bridge. They got like a bad batch of timber. Oh, oh and no. It, six years later, bridge was dead. 1940s. They built another one. It's a, it's a swing bridge right. uh, to let the boats through. And um, I think it lasted eight years before a big storm with a whole bunch of like iceberg-like flows whacked it out. That one really ended in tragedy because a couple of people died oh. uh, that night while crossing the bridge. The bridge collapsed. Oh. 1950, same thing. Another swing bridge. Yeah. This one only lasts 12, 13 years. Oh my goodness. Like that. Yeah. And then 1960s, there's a fourth one. And then another big storm. We talked, you talked about the storm in 1933. Right, right. The, the storm of 1962. Yep. Took that one out. So now we're on the fifth bridge. Good grief. The fifth bridge finally uh, opened 10 years ago. Yep. In uh, 2012. So it's celebrating uh, 10th birthday this year. You know, when I, when I go over, it's it's a very sturdy bridge. It's fine. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's but a part of me, given all that history, is always kind of like, yeah, keep crossing. my fingers crossed, a little knock on wood kind of thing, <laughs> right? Uh, okay, I made it to the other side. But back to the lights. The it's lights. always blue. So, the lights are blue um, to protect nature. Um, it seems that when bats are hunting at night, they use some sort of their vision um, is more attuned to blue light, so they are better able to avoid the bridge if the lights are blue. So they did it to protect bats who eat all the mosquitoes, which is a great thing. Yeah, right? yeah, bat blue. Bat, bat blue, yeah. Bat blue. That's amazing. As always, Jim Duffy, <laughs> Secrets of the Eastern Shore. Wow. You, that's very interesting. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. We appreciate Thank that. Thank you.